Hello friends, how's it going today? I'm super excited because we get to open up the new collector's chest. I can't even get it into frame. Here they are. We've got the Gigantamax Charizard and Gigantamax Pikachu on this tin and I'm just so excited. So let's crack into it. So here's the tin without the wrapper on it. Pikachu is so cute. Oh my gosh. G-Max Pikachu is one of the greatest creations of all time. Bringing back the, the old style fat Pikachu is such a good choice. We also have the final evolutions of the starters on the bottom and uh, G-Max Pikachu on this side and I assume a Charizard on this side. Yep. And then on the back we've got a more zoomed out version of the artwork that's on the bottom. Then when you open up the tin, we get this really cool, you know, plastic thing of three promos and a coin. Let's just address the coin first because, oh my gosh, it's a G-Max Charizard. I am so excited. I like made a little noise when I opened the tin. Uh, I love G-Max Charizard, as you might imagine, and having coins is even better because I have a, uh, I love my coin collection. So this is just amazing. Already this, this tin is incredible. So we've got the Cinderace promo. I love the action pose there. Uh, we've got our Rillaboom also in an action-y pose. And then we've got Inteleon, which will be hard to get on frame, but Inteleon's the one that I chose. Uh, very cool. Love his little pose there. Next up, we've got the stickers, and I'm very excited to see these stickers. The 3D models for everything on the tins come in sticker form as well, and I just love these these tins because of the fact that it comes with stationary things. Like, it's so much fun. Look at these. They're great. Then we've got our notepad. This time they chose to put Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon on the notepad. Uh, I love these notepads because I use them to write notes to my friends, so all of my stationery is just Pokemon stationery, and I think that's pretty on brand. We also get a mini binder. This is different from the mini binder that comes in the, uh, the pack set you can get at the store, I believe. Um, but I think it still features the same Pokemon. We've got Gigantamax Pikachu and Gigantamax Charizard, but I think with different art, so super duper cool there. We also get a code card, so I'll put on the screen what we get inside this. I forget if these come with the coins or not, but we'll see in a second. Then we've got our main event. We've got five packs of Pokemon card goodness, including a Burning Shadows, which is pretty exciting, but we're still going to open it in the usual order of oldest to newest, uh, because that's just how I roll. So if we get a, a Rainbow Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows, then it'll just have to be the second pack, and uh, that's how it is. So here we go with our Sun and Moon base set. I forget the last product that I opened that had Sun and Moon base. I've been so focused on Champion's Path that, like, I don't remember the last thing I opened before that, honestly. <laughs> so we got a Crushing Hammer, a Herdier, Grubbin, Growlithe, Poplio, Wingull, Surskit, Brion Reverse, and then a Rare is a Golduck non-hollow. Onto our Burning Shadows pack next with a Necrozma on the front. Necrozma is really cool. I always love seeing stuff with Necrozma on it. Just saw a post uh, somebody made on the Pokemon Collectors community that uh, they got this really cool Ultra Necrozma figure that like lights up in the middle. It looked incredible. So we got an Escape Rope, a Sophocles, Panpour, Caterpie, Porygon, Sock, Onish. And now let's a buzz reverse and then our rare is a Raichu Hollow. Great, I love this Hollow so much. It is super cute. It's one of those artworks that kind of looks like it should have been a promo. It might have been a promo in Japan, but still very cool to get in the regular set. So we're on to our next pack, which is Sword and Shield base with a G-Max Lapras on the front. G-Max Lapras is one of my favorite Gigantamax Pokemon. I love that it has like the little music notes going around it. It's really cool. So we got a Fighting Energy, a Dottler. Oh, we're a little bit out of focus again. We got a Corvusquire, Great Ball, Grookey, Qfant, Baltoy, Chinchow, Sizzlepeed, a Muna Reverse, and then our rare is a Galarian Preserker Hollow. That's pretty cool. I don't remember if I had this one yet or not. It's been a while since I've thought about Sword and Shield Base, but I do love it. It's a fun set. So on to our newest set, the most exciting set, Vivid Voltage. It would be so incredible if we got an amazing rare today. Uh, I haven't even seen one in person yet because uh, obviously there's no Pokemon League right now, so... Uh, I don't know anybody who has one, and I've never seen one. So let's hope for that today. We've got an Electric Energy, a Cramorant, Kakuna, Sir Chester Bath, Clobopus, Woobat, Taylo, Charmander, yay! We got a Wooper, I love Wooper so much. We have a Chatot Reverse, and then our rare is a Samurott non hollow a very cool pose for Samurott. So hoping that our Pikachu gives us some last pack magic, that would be incredible for today. We did already get a couple of hollows, so uh, we hit our ratio, but it'd be nice to, to get at least one more cool thing today. I haven't seen a Pokemon V in a while, so that would be something exciting. So we got a Grass Energy, a Matang, Girafferig, Alistair, Joltik, Weedle, Taylo, Sandile, we got an Oshawott, an Oshawott Reverse, we got two Oshawotts in the same pack. And our final rare is a Donphan non holo I do love seeing Donphan, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We didn't get anything super amazing today, but we did at least hit the uh, ratio that we expect. We've got a Hollow Raichu from Burning Shadows, and then a Hollow Galarian Preserker from Sword and Shield Base. So I'll give you guys a code card for Vivid Voltage. Comment and let us know what you got so we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.